Rolling. Game we're rolling. Right, and lights. Careers in film, scene one, Mark. Action. Hello, and welcome to JCHS Film. From cameras to lights to all that's in between, this is Careers in Film. Cut. Quiet on the set, and action. Hi, I'm Silas Bell, and I work in the camera department at JCHS Film. This is a camera. This little space right here is known as the body of the camera. This is a viewfinder. It's used to help us look at our films. This is seen as a follow focus, so it makes sure the film's not blurry. Uh, let's talk about a few of the movements you can do. This is known as a pan, it's side to side. This is known as a tilt, you go up and down with it. Also, to keep the camera steady, we put on sticks, also known as tripods. Cut. Action. Hi, I'm Chris Way. I'm here to describe to you why the gimbal is such a versatile tool for filmmakers. It allows us to get steady shots when we're moving side to side, running along against somebody, or just generally following somebody doing a pan. It also has a focus on it that allows us to get optimum clarity while we're moving around somebody. The gimbal is a very very important tool for some aspects of films, like running scenes, chase scenes, things like that. They can be pricey, but on some, some shoots, they're worth every penny. And rolling and action. Another job of the sound department is to make sure sound is recorded clearly on set. One of the ways the sound department does this is with a boom mic. A boom mic is held up and over the characters in the scene to record the sound from above them out of the frame of the camera. The sound goes up into the microphone and is recorded here in the external recorder, which is later overlaid with the video. Another way to record audio is to use a lapel mic. You clip it onto your lapel right here, and it records onto this thing and sends it to the camera. Cut. Rolling. Action. Hi, I'm Lorelai Fowler, and I'm going to talk to you about the electric department. This is a LED light, which switched on. It can increase inten intensity and also be dimmed. This is a can light, which is activated by a switch on the cord. This is a tube light, which once used can be created for cool effects and lighting. This is a mini LED that has different lighting, and I'll turn this on. And over here we have the grip department, which goes hand in hand with the electric. What grip does is they modify and create shadows. For example, another thing that us grips do is we change the color of the light. All right, change it to another one. We can change it to any color that the, that the director needs sees fit. We also can control the white output using screens or scrims in front of the white. Another thing that GRIP is responsible for is using sandbags on tripods to keep them from falling over, for example. And finally, GRIPs are responsible for giving the actors the extra inch whenever they need it. Before any production of the film can begin, first the film's creators and writers have to put together a script that contains all the dialogue and scenes of the movie. This will later be translated into a storyboard, which is kind of like a comic pane put together that tells the story graphically and shows uh, layouts for the cameras and the positions and angles of the characters in the film. Hey y'all, I'm Bartholomew Fitzgerald, but uh, you can call me Bart because uh, we're friends now. All right, see, I ain't really a dude, but I'm dressed like it because here in the film department, my job is costumes and props. All right, so I've got my cane, makes me look like a man and stuff, All right? So in my little bag, I actually have a prop that I made for one of our films. This is a Megalodon shark tooth. Well, not really, it's a block of wood. We had to have it for one of our films and so I made it out of wood and some paint and hot glue, and here we have a shark tooth. All right, so that was in my nice bag that is also a prop in our film department. We've got lots of stuff from guitars to a hair dryer and some deer antlers, because you know those could come in handy anytime, right? So you can see we've got all of these props. Oh, goodness. 
and our costumes and even more props up there. So there's always a new job in the film department from making costumes, making props, or put them on the scenes. So have you ever seen like a superhero movie and see where they get punched and that maybe they have a scar or they have a bruise on them? Well, that's, that's not real. Makeup artists put that on them. By like mixing different colors and putting them in different like patterns and everything, you can get a really cool effect from it. In movies, you don't just use scary makeup though. There's, you have to make makeup that make people look pretty because there's, there's a bunch of, of bright lights and everything that can really wash you out and make you look flat. So no matter what you're watching, whether it's like a superhero movie, a scary movie, or even the news on TV, they always have some kind of makeup on. In indoor sets, flats are put together to create walls. These can be decorated later as living rooms or bedrooms. Y'all come on in. Okay, y'all doing great. Now separate them and line them up. So after you get all your different shots, you're going to have to do something with them. With a bunch of random shots, it won't make any sense. That's when an editor comes in. You take all your different shots and put them in this thing called a timeline. Here's all my different clips I took for this video. I arrange them in an order to make a movie, like this. Using an editor, you can arrange your clips so they make a lot more sense, like this. I just have these two shots, and it gets a little boring in between. But if you add in another one, it can make your movie look a lot better. Bye, Mom. Don't forget your apple. Oh, thank you. Bye. And if I want to add some spazzazz to my videos, all I got to do is add in some sound effects. <laughs> Audio production and sound design are very important parts of the film when it comes from anything to uh, music to voiceovers to sound effects laid over after the film is already produced. Here we have a sound design station. This is a mixer which uh, adjusts the volume and the inputs, uh, that's the instruments, voices, or any other audio or uh, sounds that are going into the system. A major part of filmmaking is Foley. Now Foley is adding sound effects over a film or parts of it that's already been filmed and recorded. Uh, this can be anything from the bones cracking in an action movie or um, just some water spilling out on the pavement. Foley artists use things that aren't generally what you think the sound actually is. For instance, the sound of ice cracking by smushing around gravel in a box. Um, or just all kinds of things like that that Foley artists uh, manage to listen to and understand as a sound completely different than what it actually is. Thank you for joining us on the JCHS tour. Hope you learned a lot about careers in film, and I'll be seeing you in the near future. Cut! That's a wrap! Oh,